Welcome to section 20.10 of Metabolism. In this video, we'll focus on memorizing the details of vitamin A. Let's get started. This scene will take place in a retail store. So notice the sign on the wall that says, Welcome to the retail store. This should make you think of retinol or vitamin A. So think retail store for retinol. Okay, before we move on, let's talk about the layout of this image. The left side of the image on the bottom floor, so right here, will contain information that applies to vitamin A in general, such as the function of vitamin A. The right side of the image near the bottom of the stairs right here will contain information about a vitamin A deficiency. So just think of the lower level of the store near the stairs representing low vitamin A levels. The right side of the image on the top floor, right here, will contain information about excess vitamin A. So the higher level of the store represents high vitamin A levels. Hopefully the layout of the image will be helpful in memorizing each component of this particular vitamin. Okay, with this in mind, let's continue discussing the image. First off, notice the chef right here. He's paid the retail store to set up his cooking booth in their store in order to attract new customers to his restaurant. He has a nice sandwich platter set up with various types of meats and cheeses. The sandwich platter should help you remember that vitamin A is important for the normal differentiation of epithelial cells into different specialized tissue types. So think of the various sandwich types representing the different tissue types. Unfortunately for the chef, he's not doing a very good job attracting new clients because he's kind of making a fool of himself by spilling grease all over his face. The pan here is alluding to the idea that Vitamin A is necessary for the normal differentiation of epithelial cells into pancreatic cells. So pan for pancreas. Again, this is reinforcing the idea that vitamin A is necessary for the normal differentiation of cells. Notice that the chef is holding an ice pack in one hand while he cooks. This is because he's having a pretty bad day and accidentally burned himself. Now he's trying to alleviate the damage with the ice pack in his hand. So the ice pack should help you remember that isotretinoin is a vitamin A derivative medication. So ice pack for isotretinoin. The grease getting splattered all over the chef's face looks kind of like acne. This alludes to the idea that isotretinoin is used to treat severe cystic acne. Next, we'll show some berries on top of the chef's table. Berries are normally rich in antioxidants, so these will represent antioxidants. For step one, you should know that vitamin A is an antioxidant. Despite the chef's incompetence, he's managed to attract a few customers over to his table. The woman in the image started walking over to the chef's table when all of a sudden the man upstairs decided to throw down some food that he disliked and accidentally hit her in the head with his plate. The plate cut her head and now tomatoes and blood are dripping down onto her ribbon around her neck. This ribbon is a symbol of cancer awareness and hope, so we'll use it consistently throughout our images to represent cancer. The blood dripping onto the cancer ribbon represents blood cancer. In this case, these ideas all refer to the idea that vitamin A is used to treat blood cancer, specifically acute promyelocytic leukemia. Notice that the food that's being thrown down from the top floor consists of leafy vegetables, a tomato, and some other reddish colored meat. If you look really closely, some of these pieces of meat are shaped kind of like a liver. So the guy was eating a liver salad when he decided against it and threw it off the balcony. The liver and leafy vegetables in this scene represent that vitamin A is found in the liver and leafy vegetables. Okay, also notice that this woman has brought her pet weasel along with her to the store. The weasel represents that vitamin A is used to treat the measles. So weasel for measles. Notice that the retail store is also selling eyeglasses on the sidewall. The eyeglasses here should help you recall that retinol is a constituent of visual pigments and is necessary for proper vision. Okay, now that we've covered a lot of the basics, let's move on to discuss the clinical features of a vitamin A deficiency. Again, remember that the scene taking place here is on the lower level by the stairs, which represents low vitamin A levels. In this part of the scene, we can see a blind man with a walking stick, an EMT rescue guy, some broken glasses, and another person in a stretcher. Let's start out by talking about the blind guy. This guy has had vision problems for his entire life, so he was coming to the retail store to purchase some glasses to try and slightly improve his vision. Unfortunately, the other person who was laying in the stretcher wasn't paying very close attention and crashed into the blind man. So they both bumped into each other and are now on the floor talking with the EMT guy about the whole incident. The blind man with a walking stick represents that a vitamin A deficiency can cause night blindness. Notice that this blind man is bald. This is because a vitamin A deficiency can cause destruction of hair follicles. Also notice that the blind guy lost his glasses in the accident. They fell on the ground and got cracked. Oh well, good thing he's in a retail store where he can buy some more, right? The cracked glasses represent that a vitamin A deficiency can cause corneal degeneration. 
Next, notice that there was a broken cage on the ground with a snake coming out of it along with some foam. The guy in the stretcher had just purchased the snake from upstairs and was coming down the stairs a bit too fast for his own good when the accident happened. The cage fell on the ground and the snake is now on the loose. Snakes are reptiles with very dry, scaly skin, so the snake on the loose should help you remember that a vitamin A deficiency can result in dry, scaly skin, which is called xerosis cutis. The foamy stuff coming out of the cage was the snake's toy, and now it's all over the floor. The foam should help you remember that a vitamin A deficiency can cause foamy looking spots on the conjunctiva, which are known as bido spots. Okay, one last point about vitamin A deficiency. The guy in the stretcher represents that a vitamin A deficiency can result in immunosuppression. Hopefully this connection is pretty intuitive. A stretcher is usually used for someone who isn't 100% healthy, so this seems fitting. The guy in the stretcher broke his legs as he bumped into the bald guy, so now he's stuck on the stretcher. Okay, let's transition and discuss the clinical features of excess vitamin A, or vitamin A toxicity. This can be broken up into acute and chronic features. Let's discuss acute toxicity first. We've already introduced the goon at the top of the stairs, but notice that he's close to the top of the stairs, as if he just got to the top. Therefore, this guy closest to the stairs will represent clinical features of acute vitamin A toxicity. So just think, close to the stairs represents acute toxicity. In a moment, we'll show a character on the right side of the screen that's a bit further away from the stairs, and he'll represent chronic vitamin A toxicity. Okay, with this idea in mind, notice that our bald goon at the top of the stairs is, well, bald. This is because acute vitamin A toxicity can cause alopecia. Also notice that he's wearing a pair of sunglasses. This represents that acute vitamin A toxicity can cause vision problems, including blurred vision and vertigo. Finally, notice that he's vomiting. So acute vitamin A toxicity can cause nausea and vomiting. Okay, now let's turn our attention to this guy over on the far right side of the wall. Again, he will represent chronic vitamin A toxicity. Notice that he's holding a bowl of noodles and feeding the snake. If you look closely at the noodles inside the bowl, they look kind of like a brain. This is alluding to the idea that chronic vitamin A toxicity can cause pseudotumor cerebri. Hopefully this connection seems fairly logical. The bowl of soup isn't a brain, but it looks kind of like a brain, hence the prefix pseudo. Cerebri is also a reference to the brain. Therefore, the bowl of noodles that looks like a brain represents pseudotumor cerebri. This is a high yield point about vitamin A, so don't forget it. Just like the scene at the bottom of the stairs, this scene also includes a snake. The snake, again, refers to the idea that chronic vitamin A toxicity can cause dry, scaly skin. Okay, one last point about chronic vitamin A toxicity. Notice these shirts with liver designs against the back wall, along with this toxic sign on the ground. They just mopped the ground, but couldn't afford a traditional wet floor sign, hence the toxic looking sign. Maybe this is why our unfortunate friend in the stretcher slipped and crashed into the blind man. He probably didn't recognize that this was a warning about the wet floors. So these two additions to the scene represent that chronic vitamin A toxicity can be hepatotoxic and can cause hepatomegaly. Okay, onto the home stretch. These last elements added to the picture represent the teratogenic effects of vitamin A. So the tarantula seen in the top cage represents teratogenic. This is pretty fitting with the pet store, so hopefully you don't forget about the tarantula. The fish tank next to the snake and tarantula also go well in this pet store theme. Notice that there's a pump on the side of the fish tank that has a crack in it. In this image, the pump represents the heart and the crack alludes to the idea that vitamin A is teratogenic and can cause cardiac defects. Also notice the wooden pallets on the bottom of the snake cage and fish tank. These represent that another teratogenic effect of vitamin A is a cleft palate. So remember, vitamin A is teratogenic and can cause cardiac defects and a cleft palate. This is why women who take vitamin A medications, such as isotretinoin, must have a negative pregnancy test and multiple forms of contraception before any vitamin A derived medications are prescribed. Well, there you have it, vitamin A all seamlessly packed into one image. And with that, our tour of the retail store has come to an end. Don't worry though, maybe it will make an appearance in future videos.